Well, basically this project combines everything. During your years at CREATE, you kind of find your specialty, what you really like. Some people like the engineering part, electrical engineering part a bit more. Some people really like programming, others love design. And I think this project really combines all the skills that everyone has learned. Module 8 of Creative Technology is, uh, is the final module of the second year. And the team is data from the sources to the senses where we um, teach them and uh, we walk them through the process of how to acquire data, how to um, look at those data to understand it and then how to process or pre-process data and then model them and use them in their applications and installations. We've had a few, I think, seven weeks or something to prepare for, our, for making our installation. And after that, you have the building weeks. This is where you actually see what students were describing, what students were trying to say through their specification. And during the building weeks, this entire room was filled with students that were working really hard on making their projects. So you have two weeks to basically get that thing working for the demo day. So the project is called Hybrid World. Everything will be combined in the project in the sense that it is full of electronics and microcontrollers, but also there's in most cases information via screens, etc., etc. It comes with a lot of challenges, bugs in your system, in your software that you don't know how to fix, uh, finding the correct power supply to supply power to about 30 meters of lead. Data visualization mainly focuses on um, the sense of vision, sense of seeing. We all know the simple bar graphs and the pie charts and stuff like that and line graphs. That's a lot more boring than actually interacting with your data and making it physical. The data physicalization is about making data uh, visible. Well, actually you could say you present data to, to any of the five senses that we have. This makes it a bit more impressive. It becomes more uh, impactful and it is also more understandable because you appeal to the senses. So data visualization leads to a very immersive experience of the data. You um, represent data using various physical modalities such as you can use various physical forms like light, you can use uh, movement of um, things, you can use physical material, you can use vibration, um, water, water movement, sound, smell, and then you have to do this mapping of your data to physical variables because they are usually there's no one-to-one -one mapping. And at the same time, you have to think about what type of physical interaction would you like your users to have with the installation. At first, I found it a real, little hard to think of what kind of data um, we were supposed to visualize, especially since the topic we could choose was so immensely broad. We kind of also like shifted between our subject a few times as a team. We gave students a lot of freedom to come up with their own ideas for the data physicalization. And, and uh, we saw that many students came up with ideas which were very societal relevant. So I'm going to give you three examples. The first one is related to the, uh, the water usage uh, for creating uh, meat or, or crops. And this installation showed uh, how much water is being used while we create foods around the world. There was a project that talks about the smoking industry and what the smoking industry does to the environment. Because usually people talk more about smoking and how smoking affects the health of uh, people. But apart from the health, there are other things like carbon emission, like land use. The third example is a real eye catcher. It, it's a big tree, which, which shows in a very insightful way how much tree loss there is over the past 20 years. I think the main motivation for us was the fact that an article came out around April of this year, and it said that the Netherlands was one of the main contributors to, to deforestation, and we were all kind of intrigued by that subject. The thing is, we all know that deforestation is bad because it destroys ecosystems, it helps with climate change and stuff like that. But the thing that we were kind of wondering as a group is what are the reasons behind deforestation and at which rate is it going? So that's what we really try to incorporate into our installation. On the dashboard, you get a short explanation of what the tree shows you and you can select a country by clicking on it and then you can select a year by turning the knob. 
The colors indicate the main reason behind deforestation. There are five icons that represent a reason behind deforestation and the tree will also light up in the co color that is the main reason behind deforestation as well as the sound which also corresponds to it. You can see them, you can touch them, you can interact with them. So that is why I'm so passionate about data physicalization. When you move to such a big project, with such various aspects, with electronics, with design, with programming, you need to split up. But it means that project management and, and especially internal communication becomes a very big subject. And I think overall we just had a lot of fun and we were really determined to actually create something that was really cool and that we could be proud of, which it worked out. They come in here with basically nothing, just bare wood, bare electronics and then in two weeks' time, they can realize such a beautiful installation. And I have to say that as a teacher, it makes me really proud. We call it also sometimes the crown jewel because everything you have learned throughout the two years will come together in module eight. Yeah, it's a very short time frame, but look at what they build at the end of it. It's sometimes unbelievable, yeah. This module drives home everything you have learned in the program itself. This is creative technology to the max.